are going to give our dolls an IKEA-inspired holiday. First thing we have to do is build a new room. Let's get crafty! To build our room, we are using foam board from the dollar store, use a ruler to draw a 15 by 13 inch rectangle. Cut it out and remember to always have adult supervision when crafting. Now let's design the floor plan. Draw a 7 inch line 2 and a half inches from the edge, go up an inch and a half, then over leaving 1 inch to the edge. Measure and cut foam board to fit the lines drawn. I cut the top of the wall at an angle so we can make a roof. Here are the measurements. 7 inches across, 13 this side, and 14 and a half on this side. 1 and a fourth by 16 and a half, 14 and a half, 8 inches across, 16 and a half up, and 12 by 14 and a half. Draw and cut out a door and a window. Cut clear plastic from packaging, glue it over the cutout, cut thin strips of paper, glue them onto the plastic to make panes. Trim the cutout for the door, glue scrapbook paper onto the front, cut out a small window, glue a small piece of clear plastic on top, cut foam board to glue around it, turn it over and repeat on the other side. Push a toothpick into the corners of the top and bottom. Push the toothpick into the door cutout. I'm gluing a white brick scrapbook paper. I leave a little going over the edge so it can be wrapped around the corner. On the large wall, I covered the other side with a gray scrapbook paper to be wallpaper on the inside of the house. Take the foam board for the floor, cut popsicle sticks, glue them down to make a hardwood floor. Glue on the walls, pushing the other toothpick into the foam board so the door can open and close. I was about to glue on my wall when I realized I glued the brick to the wrong side. So I'm just gonna have to cover this side as well. Oops, my bad! I'm gonna glue this thin strip onto the side first, then cover it in paper. Glue it onto the floor, add the side wall, and now it is starting to look like a room. Cut strips of foam board and glue it on for the roof and trim on the outside and the inside. Cut a rectangle of foam board and two strips for the sides. Cut and stack a few layers to go on top. Cut a rectangle out of the center. Glue scrapbook paper around the cutout. Cover the stack of foam board. Glue all four pieces together. Cut a piece of black paper to fit behind it. Glue the paper to the wall. Glue on the foam board to make a fireplace. Glue buttons onto the door for a knob to complete our room. It's like a little dream house. Now let's decorate. Glue on paper for a front step. Green on the other for grass. Add artificial plants. I go to IKEA's website for a few decoration ideas. I found these faux pines at the craft store and I'm going to use these to make a tree. Cut off the stem. Glue it to a cross of popsicle sticks. Cut the pine to make thin strips. Wrap them together at the ends to make one long strip. Begin bending it to make a coil in the shape of a tree. Place it onto the pole, wrapping it at the top. Make a smaller one to go underneath to fill out the tree. Trim the top to make a point. Bend it. Add a bead on the end to make our IKEA-inspired tree. Place the battery pack of LED lights underneath the tree. Wrap the lights around the tree so we can see it sparkle outside the window. This tree is similar to our pipe cleaner tree, so you can check that out in our holiday playlist. It's easy to make and doesn't take up a lot of space. Mushroom ornaments. Let's try to make these. I found these glitter glue sticks at the dollar store. Take out the white and the red. I need a metal surface, so I'm using this metal cup from the dollar store and a thin wire from the craft store. Make dots of glue on the flat surface. Place a small piece of wire in the glue before it dries. It helps to make a small bend in the wire before pushing it into the glue. 
Make several and allow them to dry. Use white paint to make small dots on top. I used leftover popsicle sticks to make a drying rack. Place a little white glue right on the edge and allow it to drip off, but not too much. This took a little practice. Once dried, cut one off. Carefully remove the red glue, turn it over, add a drop of white glue, then push the dried glue inside. Curl the wire to make a mushroom ornament that we can hang on the tree. Make more to decorate the tree. Now we need a reef. Take an old hoop earring, glue on small leaves from artificial plants, add a few hot glue mushrooms, push a cut paper clip into the wall above the fireplace to hang the reef in the room. Next is the stocking. Take gray felt and plaid ribbon, cut a piece of ribbon, sew the ribbon to the top of the felt using a straight stitch along the raw edge. Flip it over the edge, fold it over, use chalk to draw a stocking shape, sew on the line drawn, cut it out, turn it inside out, glue in a loop of ribbon to make a stocking to hang on the fireplace. Let's make a plushie. Cut a circle out of leftover felt, fold and cut it into fourths, sew a red zigzag stitch along the edge, and this is just like doing a back stitch. Only you're going from side to side. Fold over the sides so they meet, neatly stitch going all the way up to make a cone hat. Take pom-poms, glue together a white and black pom-pom, cut a heart out of felt, glue the pom-poms onto the felt, place a small pom-pom inside the hat, glue it on top, glue on a tiny pom-pom for a nose to make Santa gnomes that we can display around the room. Cut a piece of a fluffy fabric for a rug. Cut and stack leftover foam board to make a wide chair, just like the sofa we made in our IKEA Versus video. Use a cut piece of a t-shirt for a throw, add a pillow, and place it in the room to complete our newest IKEA-inspired room. I love this. We can look through the window and see our tree, open the door, to an enchanted holiday room that we can add to our other IKEA-inspired rooms to grow our dollhouse. Thank you for joining us while we made our IKEA-inspired decorations. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Oh, I thought it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. We want to give a shout out to Rebecca Martin. What's up? Ah, you finally decorated for the holidays. And it only took you till December 8th. That's over a week into December. Looks good. I'm so glad you like it. I've got all your favorite things like stockings and a tree with lights. Wait, what are these? Mushrooms? Where are the candy canes? I thought I'd get a little creative. I still use the same colors. And where's the Santa? They're right here. That looks like a gnome. A Santa gnome. That's not a thing. It's a thing. We call us elves, but Santa's little helpers is what we call ourselves. We're Santa's little helpers, and if you want to know, there's nowhere else on earth that we will rather go. Santa's little helpers. Santa's little helpers. Where's Santa's little helpers? And it's us you want to know. If you want a date under the mistletoe, if you want to kiss under.